yes digital product family i hope you guys are well we're back with a black friday one a cyber monday one two this is the one guys check it out this is the one listen i'm going to give you some fantastic just quick prep quick prep ideas so you can get your listings your store ready quickly for this fantastic few days that are coming up remember listen q4 got loads of things going on now listen we've got black friday coming up now so we gotta get ready now to be honest with you even before the actual day is coming there's always people coming on and getting that saying so you gotta be quick with this one you gotta be real quick as soon as the video's done go check the things that i've just got into so that you can get those amazing sales but before i do as usual if you love digital products you love creating researching listing and all of that mad mad stuff then please hit the like subscribe smash that notification bell don't forget to share because we just share that's what we do anyways check this out man look at it i'm on etsy right now i just typed in black friday right just for the hell of it right and the funny thing is people are already already gearing up their listings for black friday look at this look they got stuff ready they're even mentioning it on their listings look at this black friday right look at it they're ready so even things like clip arts there's all sorts going on printables and uh yeah instagram um stories all sorts look at that bundles canva bundles you know black friday look at that look at that 30 png black friday clip arts yeah shopping related because <laughs> obviously <laughs> it's for shopping right shopping bag so you know people are ready people are ready and even when it comes to like digital products because let me just show you quickly typing in black friday png um there's loads of these uh, collections look look at this entire store clip art black friday discount oh that's a discount right like i said people are ready with their discounts people are reducing people are putting sales on so i'm gonna go into it but i just wanted to show you like even the actual <laughs> digital products some of them are purely geared for black friday and there are look at that one look at that black friday png the black friday crew shopping boom let's go you know so <laughs> but you know that's not my our focus we're not really looking at clip out or digital product related black friday products we're looking really right now um at trying to gear up and prep whatever store you got whatever digital product you're selling let's get ready for those fantastic days because it's just another tick another few great days in that q4 period where we really need to make sure that we're ready but just like on a side note let me just show you a side note i mean a side note i'll be very quick but look there's a clip art set and this is really something that is geared towards black friday look people also need to get clip arts which are shopping related right so this is a main street clip art set full winter um black friday and you know i can imagine this ranking quite highly during this period because look the etsy algorithm will push those relevant the relevancy is so important to etsy those relevant things during this period right so something like this using ever be my go-to tool just to check it out my it's a two-month-old listing making 83 dollars right not great not the not not the biggest amount but you know like i keep saying it's not just about one listing it's about a store of loads of listings and you know if everything can contribute fantastic but i tell you what's very interesting though is look when i come on to like the tags that this uh seller's using one of the tags is black friday clipper can you see it there so black friday clipper has a decent keyword score now it only has a volume at the minute of 32 um 32 uh um, people typing it in in the etsy search bar right and a competition 495 which mean that which means that if you actually have something specific as a digital product like specifically black friday then um you have a good chance of getting seen okay so there is a school of thought of people like actually adding these keywords in their listings just so that that maybe the algorithm can favor favor them a little bit okay but that's just like I said aside now. Don't forget, check out um, Everbee, my research tool. The link is in the description. Free access. Just try it out. And literally, this is how we actually find these amazing tags, keywords, um, so we can actually 
the Etsy algorithm can favor us, but definitely do check it out. You need some kind of tool to help you um, get those listings seen. So look, I'm going to I'm gonna do what we're, we're supposed to be doing today, which is getting that prep. So let's have a look. Let me go to my trusty PowerPoint. I love these PowerPoints now. This is my slide. I love PowerPoints. Do you know why? Because it gives a focus for me as well so that when I'm talking about something, it makes sense. So let's just talk about the basics, right, with this Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So Black Friday this year is on the 24th, Friday the 24th of November. And, it, and obviously that period from the 24th, to the 27th is is like the period that it runs so black friday will be the 24th and cyber monday is the 27th right um 27th as in monday the 27th of november so that whole weekend from friday saturday sunday monday you can expect people to be on their searching looking buying right so the wave of customers will come during that period but however however they will still be coming in before that so what i'm saying is get stuff ready always whatever period it is christmas halloween um autumn whatever period it is always go back in time get stuff ready because people start getting on the platform and start looking and you want to get those early sales in and then also for the etsy algorithm to favor you so let's have a look at this very quickly so yeah during this period there's huge it's a huge sales period with a lot of upturn and potential right and this is where like this is where you can actually get stuff happening to your listings you always want to go for those wave periods right these wave periods is very important now i keep saying the prep really early starts for like so for, if you haven't prepped enough for this one then prep for the next one but still a bit of time now to get stuff ready to be honest with you um i always say prep four months early so if you're doing stuff for Christmas or you're doing stuff for Halloween, do it four months early. Get those fresh listings that you want to relate to those times of the year four months early. I always go early because I think that if you're one of the few first ones that are getting on there, then it's the, the algorithm will favor you because you'll get those, hopefully, those views, those early sales, and then you'll start going up the rankings quicker than the ones come later, right? Um yeah, so I always say like also double down on, on what works, right? So for example, if you got something that let's say works, right? So, you know, sometimes let's say, I'll, and I'll give you an example of that, right? I'll give you an example of that. Let's say I'm going to go to, um, I'm looking for something. Let's say specifically, I want to sort something out for Christmas, right? Now I know, let's say, let's say you got Christmas, yeah? But let's say you've got a niche that you're already working with. Let's say it could be a Highland cow. We know that Highland cows can be quite popular and it can it can cross over many different uh, many different niches, really, in a sense, right? So you've got Highland cow. Um, so you've got the Highland cow plus the Christmas element, right? These two can work quite well. Nice little ingredients there, right? Um, and what I mean by double down is if you see that there is a, a listing within your listings, right? Look at these, they're so cute, man. Look at that, look at that. So many of them. So many of them. Because it's, look at that. But let's say you see something that works, right? And a prime example could be, I don't know. Let's just take one one example, right? Look at this. This is one that is a bestseller. So you've got this pink Christmas themed one. Look, it's in demand, man. They love it. The baby Highland cow. You know, you can you know basically you need to double down and what i mean by double down you see something that's working that's selling that's a bestseller you double down on it so look for example let's have a look okay so double down meaning look this this seller's in a way doubling down you got this pink christmas 20 ounce highland cow and then you got this slightly different one look it's more of a gingerbread design style you can see around the baby highland cow there Okay, you even got this one, the pink and blue style. So you got a pink Christmas, you got pink and blue, um, and you got a different one, right? And I can go down further. Look, purple Christmas tumbler. <laughs> so the amount of variations of doubling down within a specific niche, and think about your store, your listings. Think about having variations, something that could work, right? So if something is selling or can sell, then do variations of it. Have a slightly different take on it, right? And that's my advice. So double down on what works. That's what I meant by that. Have different variations, right? Like the Christmas Highland Cow. Now, the other thing that I would definitely do for Friday, uh, sorry, for Black Friday, stroke Cyber Monday, 
is you've got to get those bundles. If you haven't got any bundles, quickly get those bundles in, guys. You need to get bundles, man. I mean, look, it's a proven fact that bundles sell, okay? It's a fact. So if you don't have any bundles, get stuff for this for now, okay? Um, just get some bundles, man. I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer. Look, you know, I mean, like there's loads of bundles. I'm sticking to the theme of the Highland Cow just because it makes a bit life easier. Look, so definitely try to do some kind of bundle. You know, whether it be a small bundle, a medium, then a big bundle, right? And then I say focus more on niche down ideas, right? Now, my thing about Black Friday is a good time to also try things out. And what I mean by do some risk listing, try to bring up some other listings that are slightly off the beaten track, like slightly different. So, you know, it's about trying testing out things, test things that might could work, you know, be slightly you know slightly different from the norm like if i'm looking at let's say christmas highland cow bundles right and let's say i'm scrolling down right i'm gonna start looking at things that are slightly a bit different like i look a bit you know different from the rest you know a few things are going to stand out to me firstly first of all you can see this one right you can see that this video um this this kind of video animation slideshow is is jumping out to me right that's the first thing because you need to you need to stand out amongst the crowd so you know videos obviously help right obviously help definitely but also be slightly different so when i'm looking at these you know i'm thinking okay like uh, what what stands out to me because there's a lot of similar ideas going around you know but think about things that will stand out and that could be the design style it could be like the 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 stuff that goes with the hiding cow so it might not be just you know um christmas santa hats it might be a whole different idea it might have a funny twist to it you know they might be different looking so you know you have to think about what what's going to make yours stand out from the crowd what will make yours what on black friday when you got those wave of sales what's going to help you actually stand out so my thing is always about trying to make it a little bit different you know um this is slightly different you've got these pastel christmas baby highland cows pastel style this is interesting. So think about trying to be a little bit different, a little bit, a little angle to what you do. OK, um, this is what I mean. Look at pricing. Look at your pricing. Now, look, when, whenever we scroll down, the fact is we, we are going to consider pricing. So when I look at this, I'm going to look at um, what's got a good deal. Right. I've got maybe 40 Highland cows there, little tumbler wraps. What's the percentage off? Right. And how much is it? So there's a few things I'm going to focus on, right? I'm going to focus on what I see. So I'm looking at the stars, right? I'm looking at how many stars, uh, whether it's a star seller. I'm looking at the price. I'm looking at the percentage off. So definitely, if you're going to sell during this period, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, you've got to add a sell because people are expecting it. People are going to expect a sell. Simple as that. What are they coming in for? Because they want a better deal, right? So whatever deal you already have, you're going to have to try and do a better deal. But the thing is, obviously, you don't want to lose any money. So be careful. It's about um, maximizing on the sales because, look, this period is more about more than money. As long as you can break even and but still sell, I think it's fantastic. And I'll tell you why. Because your listing quality score will benefit hugely, right? So think about your price point, but don't price yourself within the game that means when you're looking at the listing make sure that you're competitive you want to be in that zone where it's competitive but at the same time you're not losing money right you don't want to come into this game losing money it's a business right so stick to your guns in a way right give them a great deal and a big bundle right i'm going to give you a few gems guys so stay with me right now the other thing is this this is why I keep saying you need to have something like Everbe so that you can actually get your email list. Now, the reason why I say this is, and if you if you got Everbe, remember Everbe is not just about research; it's about Everbe the email, right? Which is here. You can see on my left tab. Now, Everbe email is amazing because what it is is once you've got people who are on your email list, and your business is about growing your email list, right? Because if you grow your email list, you can actually sell products to your people on your list in the future right which is a fantastic way because if they love your designs they're bound to want to buy more stuff in the future anyway so your email list is a great way to broadcast that you got some great deals coming up on black friday right 
And that way you've got another surge of people coming in. So look, if you don't have an email list, it's essential, right? It's essential. So go to Everbee. The link is in my description. It's not only for researching and finding those great niches. It's also to have an e build your email list, right? And obviously you can also ask them for a review. Because look, the whole point of this is you need to build your reviews also. Reviews are gold. Reviews are what gives that quality score. Reviews is what the SE algorithm really measures you on, right? Having those good reviews, right? So that's what you need to build. And also within that, you can get them to sub subscribe to you as well they can subscribe to your emailing list and if you got them subscribed to your emailing emailing list then you can sell them and get tell them about new things new listings that you're getting but honestly it's absolutely crucial to gr grow your email list as soon as possible so if you're quite new to the game you need to get on this right because for future q4s you will see a huge surge once you've got your email list built Right, so get your email list up and running as quick as you can. Just get started on it. Anyway, build it bit by bit. Like I said, add value to your sales, right? This is what I would do. I'm going to give you a real nugget here. This is what I would do personally, right? I would surprise the customer. So let's say the customer is uh, is going to get a bundle, right, of Christmas Highland cows, uh, okay, that they're getting for a good deal, Black Friday, yeah? They got a really good deal. So let's say I want to sell this. I'm going to be selling this for Christmas anyway. But for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I'm going to do an extra special deal. Now, what I would personally do is I would give them a freebie. So on the listing, they would have something where say I'm going to say, I'll give you 10 extra PNGs, right? There you go. Now, when I actually then deliver those PNGs, that when they can dig download this, I will also give them another extra 10 which they didn't know about. And I call that the surprise element, the bit where the customer is surprised. Because when the customer looks at that, and I'm going to say on there, I'm going to say, here's an extra 10, you know, uh, for you. Thank you for being a fantastic customer, blah, 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 right? Honestly, I'm telling you now, and it works every single time. When a customer sees that you've given something extra as a surprise without them knowing in the first place, they will love it. They will love you, love your store, and think these guys are amazing, fantastic store. You've got to do something like that, that surprise them. Because I tell you one thing that happens. It always goes a long way, and I always get these fantastic responses from the customers that love it. So add value and add a surprise element, additional digital products. Honestly, it goes a long way. And doing another 10 extra PNGs, let's say, or extra designs is no harm to you, really. You know, it's not that extra, a huge amount of extra work, but it goes a long way for your store. And in the long run, it's going to help you out so much because if they write some fantastic review saying how great you were, every single person that reads that on that listing, every time they come to your listing, you're getting potential sales from that. It's amazing. Now, the other thing I'll say is, the period of Black Friday to Cyber Monday is there, but it's about the period is actually longer. And I'll tell you why. People are actually right now looking at Black Friday um, deals on Etsy's platform. And this is, I'm talking a week, two weeks beforehand already. So, and then what I would do is personally, because not everybody does this, I would extend the period. So I would extend the discount that I'm giving beyond Cyber Monday, maybe for a few more days, right? Um, and also just put that period on there, like the sale period. Because pe because people will still be looking after that period. It always happens. So you might get more potential sales. And on top of that, it creates a bit of urgency when you're saying, actually, I'm going to, you know, the Black Friday deal is going to stop on a couple of days. I'm going to give you an extra day. Oh, I'll give you just one more day and that's it. You know, it actually might, helps to create some kind of urgency, right? And then what I've got is opportunity to get them to buy. Yeah. So use your listing as well right um to do stuff your product description i keep saying it i did a video recently which is like key and it's about adding stuff in your product description you might do something that is geared for black friday so you might actually mention black friday you know somewhere in your listing you know you might have a slightly different design for your store banner you know you know geared geared towards black friday or when Christmas is coming up as well, think about how you can actually personalize this period, this time within your store or your listing. Obviously, you know, you don't want to play around, you know, with title, things like that. But in a product description, 
where you can actually maybe add something like it could be a discount for Black Friday. So, you know, if you buy something, you get a discount on the next ones, something where it entices them. And you might add the words Black Friday in your product description somewhere for the period. It's almost like you kind of, if you can, try and personalize, you know, this period. You might even have a listing and some of the images. It might include Black Friday. Because imagine when someone's searching for something and they, they see the words Black Friday for the period that they're looking. Psychologically, they're almost like, hmm, more interested because those words relate to what they're looking for at that time. So it's about playing on the psychology of the consumer coming on to looking for a product, right? So definitely try and use those kind of bits, those ideas, and try and use that to your advantage to get those amazing sales because you've got to really get those sales and get on the wave because that wave, if you can get the views and get those sales, that quality score will start improving, building, and these are the periods that build your listings and your store and get those sales you've got to jump on these waves so don't underestimate black friday to cyber monday get on this get on it hard work on it and do it as soon as this video is done just do those tweaks those little ideas that i've said you might even potentially do some new listings geared specifically for black friday you know with that in mind but you don't have to just make sure that you get your get your pricing get your sales on and get all of those little bits ready prepped for this period guys i hope it i hope it makes sense i hope you found value and if you did hit the like subscribe smash the notification bell don't forget to check out ever be the link the free access is the link is in my description check out all the other uh, softwares i use and don't forget to share because we love to share guys and i shall see you on the next video take care